sharing my time with the member from Chicoutimi-Lafjord, and my questions are for the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Uh, President Biden, in his Made in America executive order on the 25th of January 2021, made a clear statement about the priority and direction that the U.S. would take in terms of ensuring the future is made in America and by all of America's workers. Has the minister gained commitment from the United States that Canadian companies will be able to bid directly on all aspects of the U.S. $2 trillion federal infrastructure plan? The Honourable Minister. Uh, Madam Chair, um, this is a, an area of extreme importance to Canada's economy. Our, uh, our supply chains is intricately connected to the United States. We will work with the United States to ensure that uh, there is uh, no impact on uh, Canada exports. Minister. Has, I would like to know if the minister can let us know whether or not she has been successful in gaining a commitment that Canada will not be excluded from the federal infrastructure plan of the United States. The Honourable Minister. Well, Madam Chair, I just want to clarify that Canada is exempt from Buy America requirements due to the WTO require, uh, agreement on general procurement. If there is an, ex, uh, an effort to expand or introduce new domestic content requirements under Buy America, we will absolutely ensure that that does not affect Canadian supply chains. Our old, um, Member? <laughs> Madam Certainly. Chair, we have heard that Canada's approach to the Made in America executive order is to educate all aspects of the political and industry sectors in the U.S. on Canada's integrated approach to make sure they're aware of any unintended consequences. Speaking candidly, it could be viewed as naive for us to think that President Biden and our U.S. neighbours haven't made themselves aware of all the consequences and yet decided to pursue a made in America action anyway. Canada's approach is not working and the U.S. has cancelled Keystone XL. We've lost auto jobs. We're not making progress on softwood lumber and the steel and aluminum manufacturing industry in Canada has lost jobs as they've moved to the U.S. Can the minister tell us how the policies and Canada's approach will be changing so that we receive a different result? The Honourable Minister has one minute to respond. Well, I think that the result uh, of the last five years in the relationship, despite uh, challenges, has come out well for Canadians, for Canadian steel and aluminum, for our workers. Uh, Canada and the U.S. will benefit from our interconnected supply chains. We will make uh, this uh, case every single time. We're going to take a Team Canada approach, working with exporters and workers, uh, to uh, so that we are growing jobs on both sides of our border.